having met under the umbrella of the summit as required by the Intergovernmental Relations Act 2012 with the National Executive jointly with the Council of Governors as coordinated by the Intergovernmental Relations Technical Committee, IGRTC, have had a very successful two days meeting. The meeting has culminated into critical policy proposals and decisions that if implemented will enhance the intergovernmental relations between the two levels of government. It is therefore our wish to jointly read out our resolutions as adopted by the summit as part of our commitment in enhancing intergovernmental relations to promote promote effective service delivery by both levels of government. We have therefore agreed as follows, that every Kenyan shall be treated equally by both levels of government, regardless of their political affiliation. Government services, initiatives and programs shall be accessible to all Kenyans wherever they are. Two, that the national government commits to ensure timely disbursement of counties share of allocated revenues. This will be in line with the approved disbursement schedule. Three, that the Intergovernmental Relations Technical Committee shall fast track the process of identification, analysis, and transfer of all pending devolved functions to the county governments in the shortest time possible. Four, the IGRTC shall work jointly with key stakeholders, COG amongst others, to fast track the completion of valuation exercise of all assets related to devolved functions in the current financial year to allow for formal and final transfer of the assets. Five, that all the existing intergovernmental legal cases by by one level of government against the other level of government shall be subjected to alternative dispute resolution as provided for under the Intergovernmental Relations Act 2012 through IGRTC. Equally, KRA shall withdraw all matters against county governments from court and seek alternative dispute resolution. Six, that IGRT as an institution charged with the responsibility to adjudicate on intergovernmental disputes shall be strengthened to be able to effectively discharge that responsibility for the benefit of both levels of government. The Intergovernmental Relations Act 2012 shall be proposed for amendment to anchor the COG Secretariat and strengthen the role of IGRTC. Seven, that for purposes of intergovernmental coordination of security across the country, the county policing authorities chaired by the county governors shall be operationalized within six months. This will boost cooperation between the two levels of government on matters relating to security. Eight, that for purposes of ensuring availability of a comprehensive health insurance scheme for all Kenyans, the national government shall institute a process to restructure the National Health Insurance Fund to be a fit for purpose insurance scheme. Nine, that every county government shall facilitate the last mile fertilizer delivery to farmers in the counties. The fertilizers being delivered in the counties are unique to the different soil types identified in those counties based on previous surveys done. Ten, that moving forward on matters relating to medical equipment services, both levels of government shall ensure value for money and that before the renewal of the current contracts, counties must sign intergovernmental partnership agreements and be involved in the negotiations. Eleven, that in the national government shall support county governments through conditional grants amounting to 2.7 for three years to support 100,000 community health workers, stroke volunteers, the service and training of the CHW stroke V shall be standardized through an intergovernmental process. Twelve, that on matters relating to provision of sustainable water services, the Ministry of Water shall collaborate with the county governments through the COG in the identification and design of county water dams in including projects under water purchase agreements. 13, that there shall be developed an intergovernmental framework to enhance collaboration between the levels of government, including the National Greening Program, signed between the Ministry of Environment and COG on behalf of county government. 
14, that there shall be developed a standard intergovernmental engagement framework that prescribes the obligation as well as the benefit of each level of government for ease of coordination and implementation of the affordable housing program. 15, that the IGRTC and COG respective and respective stakeholders shall prepare an inventory of all legislation impeding on the effective implementation of devolution and submit to both houses of parliament for review and amendments. Similarly, all proposed legislations currently in parliament that are deemed to claw back on devolution shall be withdrawn and a consultative process to be instituted before they are reintroduced to either house of parliament. The Attorney General shall introduce an omnibus bill to Parliament amending all legislation that impede on devolution. 16. That for purposes of ensuring effective intergovernmental coordination of concurrent functions relating to state corporations, COG shall in the next one week forward a list to the Office of Deputy President of State Corporations performing related county functions requiring counties representation for consideration and inclusion. 17. That county governments shall develop a framework on ECDE and seek advice from SRC on an affordable package for the management of the function. County governments shall draw resources from their own revenues to support that function. 18. That the national government through the Deputy President Office shall work with COG, respective line ministries to develop a framework that will regulate licensing of bars in county governments. 19. That the Ministry of Roads shall urgently convene a consultative meeting with the COG to come up with a reform agenda of the road sector. The road maintenance levy fund allocation to counties shall be considered in the year 2024-2025 financial year through a restructured process. 20. That the National Executive shall relook into the National Government's proposed 2023-2024 budget and programs within the next one week with a view to identifying areas of duplication to allow transfer of those attendant resources to counties. 21. That counties shall be allocated an additional 100 million shillings each as conditional grants in the 2023-2024 financial year to operationalize the national government's program on aggregated industrial parks in counties. The total allocation shall be 4.7 billion to all 47 county governments. 22, that the Salaries and Remuneration Commission shall undertake an assessment of the health workers with a view to facilitating the collective, collective bargaining agreement negotiations. And finally, 23, that the Ministry of Health to extend the contracts of UHC staff for a further period of three years term under the same terms and conditions. Thank you. Very good. Very good.